this video was released on my other channel wolf of rent so this is the type of stuff that i do over there and if you guys are interested you can come over there once in a while after i've uploaded over there and it's done what it's done over there i will be re-releasing it on this channel so you guys can at least it can at least peak your peak your interest you know yeah <laughs> yo um this um this nintendo and the uh, emulation situation uh i've got a few videos i want to make on the situation like um covering like reacting to uh, a lot other people's <laughs> takes on it or people breaking down the situation so you might you might see a few of them coming uh, in in the uh, in a few days to, a, to weeks or something like that yeah so um Nintendo wants to end the em emulators that um, LMG clips. Uh, this is from their recent wine show. Uh, they they cut uh, a section of it out uh, to for it to be more digestible for the fans. So yes, but a habit of mine is like glancing down to the comments, and the first thing I see is that someone once said Nintendo isn't a game company with a legal department. They're a law firm that holds games out like an anglerfish. <laughs> uh, yo, and that makes a whole lot of sense right there. Because if you even breathe the name Nintendo, they're going to be after you. Their lawyers' names, their lawyers' ears perk up. They just starting to get giddy. They get excited whenever people mention their name. Well, yeah, let's, let's continue. Let's continue to the reaction, I'm telling you. I'm going to probably speed this up just at least 125 times. All right. Nintendo has launched a 41-page DMCA lawsuit against Tropic Haze, the makers of Switch emulator Yuzu. Does Nintendo know what DMCA is? Because I'm not it's, sure that they do. They just they kind of seem to think it's just everything to everyone. Sorry, sorry, I interrupted. Go on. <laughs> it, yeah, it's an arguable in court thing, so they can get people scared about it regardless. Um, they demanded that Yuzu be shut down and deleted. According to Nintendo, Yuzu users primarily use the technology to subvert anti-piracy protection, not any of Yuzu's more legitimate uses. The gaming Yo. company disclosed that <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom was illegally downloaded over a million times in the week and a half before its initial launch, or sorry, its official launch, uh, and that around 20% of download links <laughs> pointed pirates towards Yuzu as a tool to play the game. Well, Lord jeez lord jeez yo he even yo yo I, i'm not gonna say nothing i'm not gonna say anything <laughs> okay no one is claiming that yuzu contains copyrighted codes if nintendo could substantiate that it is a tool primarily for the purpose of copyright infringement that would be a violation of the dmca i was pointed out by rob fahey fahey what Somewhere around there, uh, of gamesindustry.biz, Nintendo is arguably more seriously affected by piracy than console rivals like Microsoft and Sony, in part because both those companies have a far greater number of live service MMO and, you know, always online style games. I would also make the argument that both of those other companies provide a hardware platform that isn't a giant piece of shit. <laughs> That's a pretty good argument. That was my primary reason for buying Tears of the Kingdom a cartridge and never once putting it in my Switch. <laughs> I put it in a Switch for us to do a video here. I never put it in mine. I didn't end up playing a ton of that game, but the limited hours that I did play were on an ROG Ally because I didn't want to run it 26 frames per second or whatever it averages out to. Like, I, it's not, it's ridiculous. Uh, yes. Especially, uh, there's, there was a rumor recently, I have no idea how credible it was, but that the hardware for the Switch 2 has been in development and at a late stage of development for a very long time like they're basically just deciding when to give us a console that isn't a giant piece of shit. um and it's just i don't know man nintendo is one of those companies that just has such outright disdain for its users i i, I have a hard time yes exactly exactly they are they are one of those companies that outright hates their fan base Disdain is putting it lightly, putting it more professionally, are, are using your vocabulary skills. They hate them. They hate their, 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 yo, they don't want people to stream their games. They don't want people to make gaming content off it. Yo, if you, if you see a few YouTubers with gameplay of Nintendo games on their channel, it's either they got permission from Nintendo or they're running a huge risk with the with their channel i'm telling you 
yo and um that dmca thing yeah people are afraid to like even proceed to court proceedings with this because i feel well feel is very subjective and opinionated but i feel that if users team had uh, the the financial strength to fight this in a, a court of law they could have made a compelling argument that they don't directly support piracy and then nintendo would probably make an argument that they indirectly support it but yeah yuzu is a tool that most people use to pirate but the creators didn't develop it with the intention of piracy and i know i'm not no lawyer but yes there's a million and one ways to build an argument to paint them in the negative light and they didn't want to take that risk so they acquiesced to nintendo's demands and uh, now i think it might set a precedent i'm not sure if it did set a precedent but it might set a precedent that all em emulators are bad and um my people might use this these arguments or these um examples in the future to like go after other emulators in the sphere you know but as linus said people some people go out of their way to buy a switch dump the game from the legally obtained cartridge and play it on a gaming computer to get better performance better experience a better gaming experience because the hardware that the game was originally meant to be played on is dog crap yes i have a hard time defending anything that they do at this point yeah this sucks for a lot of people because i know a lot of people really enjoy playing nintendo games but with ray tracing yeah exactly. or at 60 frames per second yes. or you know at not yo. 720p yo 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 wait 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 he just said with ray tracing that is only available through the yuzu emulator i'm telling you they even have reshade mods in there to like improve the gaming the the, the, the visual fidelity of the freaking games that they wanted to play people just want to experiment in sometimes most yeah most i'm not gonna make sit here and make a disingenuous argument about the the app um, or the app the, the 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 program not being used for piracy it is being used for, for piracy but it is much more than that the, the the app is for people who want to experiment with like changing up um uh, the gaming experience for themselves and some people even use it to to mod the games and play it in a different way as content on their youtube channels i'm telling you but um yuzu was one of the the ways to go about that and um they had like various mod slots that they could um implement i'm not sure if there's another emulator wink wink you know that i'm available <laughs> with um these mod capabilities and it was very lightweight very easy to run um i'm not saying anything but yeah their requirements weren't weren't yeah. through the roof uh, compared to many other emulators on the uh, uh, on the out there that um you need a freaking nuclear power plant to run that stuff i'm telling you but yeah and i know this is a hey i actually don't know that many people and my circle is small and subsists of a relatively similar type of person situation but pretty much everyone that i know that uses yuzu also owns a switch and owns the games because most people are just like, yeah, it's just an insanely better experience. Yes. If I want to play it there. This isn't actually about pirating or whatever else. I just like, it's twice the frame rate, looks insanely better, is, a, I don't know, bigger format, whatever. There's like a lot of different arguments for it. Yes. The upscaling yeah. mods and stuff know. like that. Sucks. Yo. I know there's Yo. other people on the interwebs that are a lot more invested in this. So if you are interested in it, there are a lot of people covering this right now. So you could look up. Arbiter K asks, when are we getting the beauty page pageant? Pageant. <laughs> But okay, um, uh, I feel like that's that's enough. I had to I had to come back to this. I had to come back to this. Um, I, I, as you guys probably just saw our part, I I closed out the video, but it's not over. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I started watch watching the rest of it, and uh, it leads to an interesting discussion. This seemingly 
um, innocent question from the, the uh, 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 chatter on their live stream led to a discussion that Nintendo, yo, shows that Nintendo is just a cartel and they're strong, strong arming all of their fans, I'm telling you. So let's go. Let's go. You're, you're going to see this right now. Yeah, so you could look up. Arbiter K asks, when are we getting the beauty page pageant? Pageant. Um, internally, I have been pleaded with to not do it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's not the kind of thing that I can make uh, a unilateral decision on anymore. I am no longer the CEO. So. Uh, okay. They, they, they wanted to host an event, like a, something similar to a land party. You know? Yeah. But they were going to have a Super Smash Bros. type of, um, probably a tournament. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I wasn't following all the wine shows where they were giving up, giving uh, most of the, 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 the um, info on this, on this situation. If it might happen, if it might not happen. But Nintendo doesn't want people to um, host unofficial to tournaments. So let's continue. Oh, I could be an asshole. And I could be like, ha ha, I insist because I am technically the majority shareholder, but that's not how a constructive relationship works between um, shareholders and board members and yeah, the, shareholders is, well. the chief executive. Um, that's not how a healthy relationship works between this shareholder and the other shareholder that Luke just mentioned. Mm. Um, okay, probably that's just now. not how any of this works. So it is not a decision that I will be making on my own. I would still like to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a way. I, <laughs> I understand. It's a minefield. It's yes. So basically, here's the problem. Yes, we could do it. We could run a beauty pageant where people's beauty is judged. By the way, they could play Super Smash Bros. And um, you know, while they wait for judging, <laughs> yeah, you know, we could do that. If Nintendo decides to take legal action, we are You're believe it or anyways. not. Still a very small company yeah, in the grand yeah. scheme of things. Mm -hmm. And the legal costs for that type of action, should they drag on long enough, could significantly harm our ability to continue to operate. Uh, I, I know that... Yeah. I, I don't... Okay, you hear that. In spite of popular belief, LMG is still a small media company. Yeah, so they are big. They are big by youtube standards but if they were to yes um <laughs> attract the ire the wrath of nintendo and their their infamous shakedown the legal costs will pile up and they wouldn't be able to operate anymore so as you as you've heard it's a, it's basically a, a big, large, uh, it's basically a large land party where um, a, a Super Smash Bros. tournament it might be held. Yeah, allegedly might be held because we're getting into that type of um, realm right now. Um, and a beauty pageant would, would be the cover. And uh, as Luke said, it is a minefield. It is a minefield. This is just how nintendo rolls i'm telling you this is how nintendo is they are the mob they are the cartel they are the yakuza yo yes that last one is very fitting because they're a japanese company but yeah yeah that aside um yeah they are they are, they basically hate their customers i'm telling you their fans because fans can't just gather together a, a, a bunch of their friends are saying that they just want to have a night. They want to play some games together or make a makeshift tournament. Nothing pro pro properly organized or like that. And they can't do it because Nintendo's legal teams will come for you. N Nintendo's, yo, Nintendo will litigate you out to oblivion. <sighs> Let me hear if he has anything else to say on the, on the topic before I close this out again fully understand where it comes from. I think some of it is my fault because I talked about that valuation that we got when there was the offer to buy. Uh, but there's, there's a perception, I think, that we are an enormous company, that we're some kind of heavy hitter. Yeah. Um, and in the YouTube space, I guess so. Yeah, we're in sort of an, uh, an uh, we're in a, a very, we're in very elite That's company what I just said. in terms of our, our, our scale, right? Like we have over a hundred people who work here. For most people, oh it'll my be gosh. just a random day.
But for a select few, what happens on April 20th? That was an ad. But 100 in Canada is the threshold for like a medium sized business. Which we're just, we're just barely. We are actually. <laughs> <laughs> not a large company. Yeah. Uh, we've been we've been very successful. We've been very lucky. But when you have a one hundred million dollar valuation or offer, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have a one hundred million dollar valuation. That could mean that there's some projected growth. Um, so yes. you could have been at a very high multiplier of your EBITDA. Um, it does not mean that I have a hundred million dollars in the bank. That's no. super duper not how that works at all. Mm -mm. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm doing really great, and I'm deeply appreciative to all of our viewers and uh, all yeah. of our team members yeah. and and everyone. But I don't have. Yes, yes, he 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 has to say that. You know, we all know that he has to say that because some some crazy people out there might think that what he's saying is him complaining and that yeah 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 big rich uh, Linus media um, complaining uh, uh, about about his so rich life and so that 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 yes this is not that we 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 actually have brains and can use them and think out over here so i, I would hope so yeah I have a hundred million dollars <laughs> hundred percent i promise uh so for us to go toe to toe with someone like a nintendo is a legitimate risk that it would be up to the leadership team to decide to tackle not me yeah so that's that's the beauty pageant situation. Because we're trying to like, you know. We're very obviously. Um, trying to get around it, trying to set an well, no, example to no, a certain no, degree. No, 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 no. We wouldn't be trying to get around anything. anything. Yeah. We fair, wouldn't be trying to true. set any examples. Yes. That is not the case. We would be trying to run a beauty pageant. That's true. <laughs> I would like to make it very clear. That's true. And, and there, that and is the, what we would be the doing. The plan is, you know, if they were. <laughs> yo, let, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, <laughs> yeah, guys, yo, that is it. They wouldn't be trying to circumvent anything. They would be trying to run, run a, a legitimate beauty competition. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, watch the rest if you want to watch the rest. You know, uh, as I said, links in the description because th there's a whole lot more of, of the videos left. I'm telling you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, guys, like and subscribe, share the video. It's Wolf. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Itekimas, and let's get this. I heard that this peace sign recently been co-opted by people who say this. This is the buy sign. What the hell, yo? These people want to change up everything that people be using so that they don't use it no more. I don't care about what you think or what the hell you want to say that this sign is, but yeah, <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> yo, this say. Peace out. Yeah, or yeah, I'll see you later or some freaking ish like that. Yo, yo, I don't I didn't mean to, to rant, but people on the internet are crazy. <laughs> people on social media are crazy, bro. Yeah, so be careful. Be careful out there. There's a lot of crazies running around. So yeah, guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. It's well. Let's get this. Yeah.